you just tuned into the Heel in the Face Live Wrestling Show here every Wednesday hey, night on Spreaker. Hey, hey, do- hey, you forgot to introduce me, the smooth voice Sid, Ryan I'm, 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 And you forgot to mention that they can follow us on Twitter I'm, at Heel and Face. Duh. I was going to get to that, but I didn't get hey, a chance. shut up! Excuse shut me. Shut up! I'm rude tired of hearing you, you two people argue. Really? We have a show to do. We're, We're getting there. It's arguing. Wednesday night. We it's were talking. It's the Heel in the Face Live Wrestling Show. We open up a great Somebody show. get Lenata Dean a rubber Christ. chicken and let's get to this it. Is nuts. Worship the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Heel in the Face Radio Show. Now, get ready to get kicked square in the world. <laughs> and welcome. Uh, yeah. Whoa. Wow, man! Stealing, another another stealing Tommy's thunder today. Stole his Yo, shine. Man, come How's on he gonna now? get over his face if you don't got a shine? He'll get over. I know, it, right? I'm the 2013 host oh, of the yeah. year. Jesus, it's all right, man. Sound like Cockmaster of the year. You, uh, yeah, definitely. I'm We're sick, starting early. We'll cap the letters, man. Yeah, Bobby like Jim style. Um, <laughs> I'm sick and I'm toughening it out because I am your 2013 host of the year. Well, it's 2014, <laughs> so yeah. Congrats on yeah. being yesterday's flavor of the month. Yeah. It's all right. We'll it's kick okay. you to the Tommy, curb later. Tommy, let's restart the show. Let's have you do the intro. Yeah. Sean sucks at that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's another oh, week, and here snap. we are. All right. How about it, Ryan? Right, that was good. That was good. I was the only one who took the cue from the hall monitor. It's true. Well, Tommy can't see because, you know, he's short uh, yeah. as it is, and yeah. then you put that, you know, computer that speaker, speaker right there. Man is, oh, that oh, speaker is... Oh, man. He's already chiming in. Yeah, he's he already is. chiming in. Go sit who down over him? there. Who invites him? You are right? A Smurf boy, sit down and relax. Oh, man. Okay, so <laughs> we, 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 what we got on tap today? What's on the run sheet? Wow. Sean, it's tell since, me. I want, I want yeah. you to keep talking as since much as possible. Since you're taking can. it, go ahead, man. Thanks, jerks. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, host of the year. Come on. <sighs> Let's do it. I guess I'll tough it out. So, uh, we're talking about Stronghold Pro Wrestling, which is Saturday Ooh. at oh, the Deer Stronghold. Park Sportatorium. <coughs> what time does it start? Uh, six o'clock, doors open, 7.30, bell time, and uh, you'll get a two-match pre-show before then. And we're going to run down all the current matches, or those that Tommy C wants you to know, which is probably three. And then the talent that'll be there. Uh, do you think I really want to tell anybody the matches? Because you know what? They're awesome. I- I'm not going to reveal. You tell people so that they Yeah, come. well, you know what? The main thing is the Pope, Big Jim Sullivan. That's the main key of it all. Because the You're rest is... A few because the rest... I know. But the rest is like, you know, when you have the ice cream and then you have the whipped cream, that's the cherry on top of the whole entire show. That's a weird analogy. <laughs> it is, man. But it, somehow it makes sense in Tommy's mind. It does, brother. He made it the is. It's a little weird. And Big Jim Sullivan sound like a cherry. They are. They're the cherry on top, and the wow. rest of it's the ice cream and the whipping, man. Ooh. So you got to get there. Somebody's going to get a whipping for Colin Pope and Big Jim Sullivan cherries, but... Uh, no. No, I'm good with them. And let me tell you, 6 o'clock, you got to be there. The doors are opening. The Pope will be signing autographs from 6 to 7.30. And come on. It's a great show. I'll tell you this. If Tommy can beat up Big Jim Sullivan in a fight, I would say that's an achievement of a lifetime, and it deserves an award. Oh, did you see what I just did there? Oh, inside jokes. I just have to say something. (laughs) How many hands does Big Jim Sullivan have to have tied behind his back for Tommy to beat him up? Uh, are we counting legs as well? We might as we might as well because if Jim Sullivan's Blind got folds? one good big toe, Tommy's got no chance. Blindfolds. Well, yeah. then again, Big Jim would swing, and Tommy wouldn't even have to duck. He's so short. You don't think Jim will adjust for that, right? He could, he could, but I mean, who, who fights a guy who's four foot nothing? How, oh, how come all? on now, give me a little credit. All right, so we got the stronghold show. We're going to be talking about that as soon as we come back from break. Uh, what else we got on the agenda here? We got oh, Sean's oh, favorite. Oh, wait a minute, Sean's, Sean's favorite. favorite. Yeah, it's I've seen not that, my man. Favorite. Tommy, you want to bring it up? Sean, hey, Sean, Yo, you, you, you know what? You, you spotlighted the beginning of the show. Tried to, and let me tell you, for what you did today, Ultimate Warrior situation, you mean, Hall you mean of Fame. Monday? Well, Monday, whatever. It just, I, I agree. I don't know. But Ryan has a big smile, and it looks like he wants to go at you on this one. I can't so, wait. So we got the Ultimate that, Warrior Hall of Fame discussion that's coming up. <laughs> that's I think I'll show. be sitting back uh, in that one. We have some uh, Smark Awards reaction based on last week's show, which was a huge success. Anybody yes, look it at was. the views? Definitely. I, yes. I, yeah, the views are high. Uh, lots of, lots of <laughs> feedback on the uh, Facebook page. 
Uh, yes, lots of love letters, lots of people posting up the digital files yeah. of awards and making it the their banners. profile pics and stuff like that, their cover photos, and you know, one douchebag with a uh, soured expression on his face, probably Tommy. No, okay. After he didn't win, but that's what happens. It's sour grapes. No, I'm not a sour person. Okay, you know what? Because I'm not like that. I'm not like any of the ones that Come didn't on, win. Come on, you were, you, no. were, you secretly went in home in your bathroom and cried. You cried, for an hour Tom, next you to your cried. tub because you weren't host of the year. <laughs> you cried because you're a douchebag. <laughs> no, I'm not. But, but all then right. again, we did have one person who actually was a bit angry. Yeah. Uh, me and him had uh, some some choice words. I was as polite as as. Uh, as one could possibly be in that situation. I know a manager that didn't that was unhappy. And he's they nicknamed him the Smurf. He was probably the, uh, pissed. The uh, the kingdom of uh, five hundred IP addresses. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yep. There you go. Uh, <laughs> and then we got uh, some reaction. I know we're a little bit late, but we were on break, and then we had the award show. So we got some reaction to uh, SWA's last show on December twenty second, which was Mugs and Go. Yep. We got to talk about that. Big things happened. Big, big things happened. Big yep, things yep. happened. But, uh, but yep. yeah, so why don't we do this, Sean? You look like you're about to die, so we'll have you yeah, go you get your oxygen man. tank. Okay. We're all sick in the studio except for the smooth except voice. Except for me, because because the amount of women I've been with, AIDS is afraid to catch me, so I can't get sick. Um, wow. Yeah, I'm just saying. Oh, so why don't we take a break? Uh, this way, Sean can some, take some puffs of his oxygen tank. Uh, <laughs> the whole monitor can uh, wake up by taking some energy drink. Sure. And then Tommy can cry himself more of a river for not winning host of the year. Uh, and then we'll come back and we'll start talking about Stronghold. How does that sound? Uh, uh, that's it. Yep. Wow, don't, don't sound too enthused. Jeez, we'll be guys. right back. Home you monitor, know? take us out. Down bees cloud nah, nah, nah. Rocked out, rocked out. Smooth like she wants something to pop out. Pop she wanna out. give me brain, heard I was a dropout. Drop she called me Boy Scout the way I pull them knots out. Huh? You know what we get into? Plenty, plenty money, little drugs, drag them women through. Yeah, it's getting like Jerome with the missing tooth. Get out there, Jesus. Plenty shit to listen to. Yeah, it's GX3, baby. We on the moon. Gonna from the bottom to the top. We never lose. Never monsters ain't, monsters ain't. We coming soon. Bringing the temperature hotter than the air balloon. Your nose tweaking. You know that Roma in the room. Down there, I shine here like I never want to groom. Get him sweat like a kitchen. Where's the broom? See him sweating, got him bitching. I'm coming soon. Got a new player flow. Listen for the boom. Rock City, end of your world. Here's your doom. Rock City. You know I'm in this shit, don't act innocent No need for lubricant, the play cute Yelling out mega blocks Fuck around and you'll get mega cocks I love hip hop, but I wanna rock city, bitch Like Aretha, you gotta respect my click No chick gon' take my cash through free With arms wide open, that's my creed A dime a dozen getting kinda sick of that See how much it responds when I send a nickel back I want a white girl with a black girl ass Pumping out Aerosmith when I roll past Like Big Pop, but give me one more chance Got you going gaga over this bad romance Sipping tequila, pulling down your pants Baby girl, I know you're gonna love my dance Rock City, bitch, rock, rock City, bitch Rock City, bitch, rock, rock City, bitch Rock City, bitch, rock, rock City, bitch Ten, 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 twenties in your titties, bitch Rock City, bitch, rock, rock City, bitch Rock City, bitch, rock, rock City, bitch Rock City, bitch, rock, rock City
You might want to turn your mics on, though. Wow, that man. Work. Yeah, that, that might work, you know, yeah. definitely. Listen, I'm sick but, uh, of you. What? You're not remembering. Come on, really, Sean? Well, that might... Really? Tommy just got a good text well, about I, Strong. I just got a good text on my... Uh, you know that that mobile device and uh, oh man, my know, phone's blowing up too. Phone. Yeah, well, you know what? Uh, a good friend of mine, Robbie E from TNA, and let me tell you something. You know, this show comes Saturday, is going insane. It's blowing up. You know, I actually the other night, Sean didn't believe it, but Jesse Neal, Shannon Moore contacted me, and uh, they're interested in the show. It's already booked, guys. It's already booked. So that tells you right there and then. How good the show's gonna be come Saturday. Um, anyway, on the uh, card, Jack Gallo, Robbie, mm-hmm. and uh, mm-hmm. Robbie Rebel, man. Uh-huh. Stockade's favorite, Bobby Stock- Drake. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> he'll, he'll, he'll be on the show. Stockade was a blast last uh, yeah, week. I Stockade. love Stockade. That was awesome. Stockade is uh, that whole end of the show was like gold. Oh, yeah. it's, he wants to do a monthly uh, series. The, yeah. sh- the shooting gallery, right, Sean? Yeah. Sean? Sean wants to pitch this to you after the show. So we'll have to talk about <coughs> he already went right. through oh, so it, you right. know? And right. uh, the fans got a taste of this already, I yep. guess. Here. I think it's interesting. I think it might work, you know, because... We're going to uh, do it. We're going to do it January 29th. We're going to do it. Okay. We're going to test run. We're going to have everybody here. We're going to have some people over the phone. All right. Oh, all right. Okay. Well, uh, then... The stronghold, though. Yeah, because... Uh, Lots of talent on there. Yeah, I think uh, we found the something. Chris Envy. The, oh. Come on. The Chris Envy. The Chris Envy. The Chris Envy. Just like you and your... Wait, what's that guy? Mike Magnum? You say He's what? your hero, No. Mike the Chris Envy, brother. No, it's just Chris it's Envy. the Chris Envy. Yeah. Queen, That's it, man. It's Chris Envy. When a queen puts a sword on his shoulder, he can be Sir the Chris Envy if he wants. But That's right. He no, he would just Envy. be Sir Chris Envy. Sir so right Chris now, Envy. He's yes. Oh, man. Here we go. Wow. Somebody might be fired before Saturday. <laughs> Here we go. Who break, who brings him to the green room? That's not I know, really right? Or a room. I think somebody might not get paid either. Uh, that better not be... Uh, <laughs> anyways. ATL? Yeah. Uh, oh, cat's out the bag. Uh-oh. Uh, cat, cat was out of the bag last Let me just tell you something. Let me tell you something about superheroes, okay? They'll like never them. get over. Because they've already been done. Yeah, that's it, man. And so has Mosh and Thrasher. And they're awesome, wow. man. I like them guys. Hardcore man. wrestling can't get over. It's already been done. Yeah. Duh. See the logic? That's it, bro. Uh <laughs> Yeah, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Whole monitor. She's like over there. <coughs> now it's time now. Now I got say a machine gun voice and a mic. Yeah, listen, put it this way. He does, man. If words can kill, and try to follow the double entendre here. Yeah. If words could kill, I would sentence you to death. I'm looking at my own darn. You like that, right, Sean? I know I like that. your mind's a little slow right now because you're is. sick. But it it's is. a double entendre. It works. It yeah. is, but I'm hanging on because okay. I'm your 2013 host of the year. Uh, well, my my dad did all that artwork. Oh, man. it's a family affair. There. It's you a family know, it's a affair. family affair. Family business. Um, so you, you know need what? to put your phone on on uh, silent. Oops, there. I'm gonna put my phone on silent. That's yeah, my that's what fault. you do. What else do we got? But, uh, of course, we have the Pope. He's going to be Pope. there. Yeah, the, the Pope. Angel not, De Niro. not the actual Roman no, Pope. No, because that would be very interesting yeah. to see him in the uh, ring going against yeah. the other guy in red. I would love to see him cut a wrestling promo. That would be amazing. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we have the Pope, D'Angelo De Niro, uh, going one-on-one with Big Jim Sullivan. Uh, that is your no time limit main event of the evening. You know, for making fun of the Pope, you know who you're going to get in trouble with, I'm right? Jewish. doesn't matter. But you know, who, you know who's going to Oh, don't tell me that guy. That. Don't tell me that guy. Who? That guy. Who? That guy. Just say his name. The Reverend? Oh, God, stop. Who? Here last week? Stop. The Reverend? Stop. That guy yo. scares me. That guy scares me. You, yo, he was off let the hook. You, let me tell you something. I won't mention his name because he probably... Why? He, because he ripped my spleen out through my rectum. Yeah, but don't they nearly kill him when they do that? Right. He Xbox you? <laughs> <laughs> I had to explain... I had to explain to the worker in... To, to, a, to a wrestler... All about the reverend. Yeah, yeah. I heard he had quite a buzz going on the next day. <laughs> yeah, He's still on the Xbox my... joke that I just said. Yeah. <laughs> my phone was blowing up. Who was that guy? Who was Ooh. that guy? Who was it? Well, we don't want to blow up spots here, but let's put it this way. The reverend, he got, uh, in wrestling terminology, he, he went over mm-hmm. huge. Wow. Uh, yeah, he week. did, really did. Uh, I'm surprised he's not here this week, but I'm sure he's spreading the gospel, as he would like to probably say. He, you know what freaked me out about the reverend? You could tell that man really believes what he's saying is true. Like, like God is really speaking to him through his, you know, words in the Bible and everything. Like, like it I wonder just how God good. is really speaking to him. You know what? 
Just Honestly, man. Head. I just, you know what? Yeah, he's, he, he scared me, though. Definitely he did, scared he did. me. Uh, moving right along, only yeah. because I don't want to keep talking about the, this guy that freaks me out. He was he was very weird, man. Yeah. Uh, just con- convicted. Convicted. That's what he yeah. Yeah, All right, but moving on. Uh, <laughs> I guess you could say the sub-main event would be uh, Frankie Flo and Len Oddity. Myself. Yes. That match, yes. That's the sub main event. And let me tell you something. That match is going to be quite interesting because Bonnie Oddity is going to be on ringside. Mm-hmm. And she's going to have the bag of. F- mm, All right, I'm going to say yeah, it. Yeah. Mess him up. I can't Mess curse, up, really. Okay. You know? You're going to get a text for that in about five seconds. All right, yeah, Len. Sure. I'm sorry. It's the bag of. Kids, cover your ears, Don't. fuck them up. All right. Oh, what? Beep, beep. All right. Well, so, then again, I said, there through. you go. I, well, then again, I did say yeah, cock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. you know what? I'm sorry. But, uh, did we uh, forget yep. to mention that the Pope and Big Jim Sullivan was a no time limit? I no it. time oh. limit bout. And let me tell you, I'm sorry, it's going to be quite on, interesting. I'm on slow today. It's I okay. noticed. Okay. Big Jim Sullivan versus the Pope. Lenardi versus Frankie Flo in a tattooed ugly anarchy match. Uh, yes. And a tattooed ugly anarchy match is not a match. I just named it after Len a little bit. And that's it. Because well, I don't like the way that Jim Sullivan is being treated by you. I think you should sit down. I think you don't have a mic. So yeah. we can't hear what you're saying anyway. Take care of that dog. Put a leash on him. Uh, moving right along. But like we said, we have plenty of other guys who are on this show. Dr. Lamar Braxton Porter versus mm-hmm. Suntan. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. you have Los Sucios with the ring queen, Lexa Rose. Oh, right. Los Sucios. One, yep. one member is a ring rat of the year. And they're yes. coming out with the ring rat, Lexa Rose. against the undead. Who I had a very interesting argument with on Facebook the other night <laughs> about Chris Benoit. <laughs> oh, she's one did. of those. She's one of those marks who thinks that he should be in a Hall of Fame. Uh-huh. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> and then she tried to play it off like, oh, I'm not being serious. Yes, you are. I just out-argued you. Um, but, yeah, moving on. Uh, but uh, Jack listen, Gallo. Jack Gallo is going to be announced. ATL is going to be announced. <laughs> Danny Fortuno, uh John Fortuno, I'm sorry. I forgot the guy's name. That I'm happens. It, you know? You're both sick. <laughs> and uh, Frankie uh, Stars. Let me, let me do thou who shall right, not be you mentioned. You go for it, man. No, that's it. You already said everybody. Oh, something. all right. You know, well, at least the guys that are definitely confirmed to be there. So, uh, well, I'm just saying. You know, there's other Evan Reigns is going to be there, and also the Italian Stallion Gary Reno is going to be just, there. Can we just say the Chris Envy is going to be there? The Chris, Chris Envy, Envy. is going to be there. The, the, the Chris, Chris Envy. Envy, Robbie Rebel. Yep, Robbie Rebel. Uh, he's not the Chris Envy. Yes, the. he is. No, he's not. Why and is also he the Chris Envy? If that's what he there. bills himself as, that's what you call him. Are you the? It's the. Well, you are the smooth voice. Sir. I am. You know, I mean, D'Angelo De Niro bills himself as the Pope. And I'm the face, and you're the heel. Yeah, you know I'm saying? You it's the, the and Chris Envy. So what? It's the it's Chris Envy. It's the Chris Envy. Just Envy. a normal guy. He's a TV sensation, man. Yeah. Yo, Come on now. Don't be jealous. Uh, right, and just so, don't be uh, jealous of what? His appearance on Divorce Court? Oh, I'm just saying. Hey, listen. No, I'm just hey, saying. Hey, I'm just sure. saying. You, tickets are still available. There's still a few left. Uh, it's going to be a packed house. It's going to be a packed house. So don't waste a single second. If you haven't got your tickets yet, you can pick them up uh, at NY Pizza and uh, Gyro over on uh, 871. Uh, Connecticut Avenue and yep, Islip Terrace. Terrace. How is that for a plug? Oh, plug. yeah. Oh, you yeah. can also pick them up at the Omega Storage on 185 Sunrise Highway in Amityville, New York. AKA um, the and also studio. any of the indie wrestlers, if you do know them. I'm sure they'll have whatever. some tickets on hand. They'll have themselves. tickets. I think uh, the voice even sounds worse when I'm saying yep. And you can and buy your tickets at the door, $20, yes, uh, general tickets, admission. Yes, our $20. Um, just so everybody does know, come Friday, we will stop selling any other ticket. It'll only be general okay. admission at the door. Okay, so you have uh, you got a couple more days if you want to get your front row tickets, which are only a $5 yes. difference. So you can get front yep. row tickets right now until Friday yes. for $25. Um, you can also VIPs get your are VIP available. ones. The VIPs, um, I'm actually going to leave at the door also. Okay, which are 40 bucks, which yes. is, includes a meet and greet with the Pope. And you yes, need to come it does. in early and everything like that. But general admission, $20 tickets, so you're not... Listen, it's not a lot of money. No, uh, it's not. You're going to see an excellent wrestling show over at the NYWC Sportatorium in Deer Park, uh, right and over from Brook Ave. Let me tell you, all the talent is uh, being added as we speak, and um, just confirmed that we're going to be have TNA star Robbie E there. So there you go. There you go. The, the names keep it coming. Coming. Yeah. You know, so definitely. Out the mountain when they come. Right, right. So definitely get your tickets. Come down, check it out. You know, and uh, see a great show. You know, 
and also there's one other thing I do have to let uh, wrestling fans know and also workers know that this show is being dedicated to a good friend of mine and all the workers that do know this person, Scott Epstein, promoter. Uh, you know, he is one of the best out there. He's done so much within the business. So you guys, you ladies that know him, that's what this show is going to be all about. So uh, definitely get your tickets. Stronghold Still Pro available. Wrestling. We'll do it before time runs out. Right, Sean? Right. Yeah. You know, you know what? Let's bring over here to Smurf, you know, uh, Vinny the Guido. Maybe he has something to say about the show because he keeps on looking at me. All right. Keeps so what we're going to do? Talk without the I mic. can't stand Vinny. Yeah, so but, I'm gonna step yeah. away and give him and my also, mic. Wait, I'm a gentleman. Wait and a also, second, I'm sick. No, I don't care. Tell my doctor yeah. said that. And also, he's, he, see, he's Listen, back there talking without a mic. You can call it Smurfism, my which is a, 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 you know an extreme uh, dislike for people who are shorter than 4'11". I'm sorry, my doctor. <laughs> I'm call five foot, so I actually, I'm 5'5", five five, so I win. Yeah, that's more like, you know, almost there isn't. Tell me, arrange it so my doctor can scare <laughs> Nobody can hear you. You're not on the mic. I know, right? I Come sure on, man. Oh, be, be careful. You're going to get a free proctal exam. I'm going to make sure my doctor takes real good care of you on Saturday. You're going to get a free proctal exam. Sit down. Proctal exam. What is it with you and Proctol? What? I'm worried about you. I'm talking about your proctologist friend. He is a chiropractor. Proctologist. Proctologist? Gynecologist? Come on. You know, right. I don't like the I way... Mean, you think you're going. I'm going to take a voice break. No, you're not. No, Get your... I don't like the way Big Jim Sullivan's being treated, Tommy C. I mean, how come you don't do a meet and greet with, with, with Big Jim Sullivan? Why does it have to be with the Pope? Who is the Pope? Listen, that the Pope listen. has to come in here and, and rule the world. Like, no, no. I'm I'm serious. What is why can't Big Jim Sullivan be treated like the Pope, or if not better? I, I don't understand it. You're you're the promoter. Listen, you know what? I'm going to tell Big, Big Jim, Jim all this, and I, I I'm Big tell Jim him. knows, and he is actually fine with it. He Big Jim even Sullivan care. is a star, and you treat he him is a star. as a second rate next to the Pope. Vinny, what is wrong with you, Vinny? You know what they say about title tales and their proctologists, right? <laughs> no. Ponder. <laughs> Go into the bathroom and ponder it over. <laughs> I'm telling Big Jim Sullivan that, that, that you're mistreating him. I'm telling him everything. Listen, you can do what you got to do. Jim knows about it, and Jim is actually excited about the show. Come Saturday, he's going to give his A game against the Pope. And honestly, what is your doctor going to do come Saturday? Well, let's just say the, the hospital already has beds in reserve. And... Um, Let's just say uh, I took care of a little business that you don't know about, and uh, it, it, it's gonna—it's it, not looking too bright for your uh, boy there, Suntan. So, well, that's between you two, and all I gotta say is, your doctor better bring the A game because every wrestler is bringing the A game so far with nothing but pure talent through the years of their wrestling career. And come Saturday, Stronghold is launching its first show. And it's going to be one hell of a show for everybody to get you their know, tickets. At. just because, I mean, I understand you and I have had some heat in the past. But you want to know what? I'm feeling kind of gracious. I think I'm going to let my doctor give you an adjustment. <laughs> well, listen, listen. <laughs> If, if, if that, that, that's it is the right. Adjustment yeah. Bureau, you know, so, you know. That's all good, man. That's all good. Let me tell you something. N no matter what, I'm going to be sitting in the back watching each match, and when I see the doctor go out there, Suntan go out there, <laughs> I'm going to wonder who's going to take that match. Each match, I'm going to sit back that's and wonder. That's if Suntan makes it to his appointment on time. Well, all I got to say is I think it's going to be a great show. And I think Porter has a lot to uh, look at because if you think about it, you have this big guy, same exact size as him, and he wants to come for you too, Vinny, because supposedly you owe him money. I, I don't know what he's talking about. I'm giving him free adjustments for my doctor. I mean, he he's going to be taken care of really good. <laughs> Come January the 18th, the Saturday. <laughs> well, I, I don't know, man. I, I really don't know. And all the one thing I do know. Come on, don't you, would, tru don't you trust me? Come on, I, I'm very trustworthy in this business. I don't know about that. You know, you don't trust me. Well, 
I mean, you, come on. You know what? There's some hairy things. They have long tails and snouts. Oh, they're called a rat. That's I mean, almost for, like you. Don't forget I beat you in a steel cage. Yeah, I, like I, I said, it's like a little rat, <laughs> you know? But all that I got to say is that you have better bring your A game because he's looking for money. He's going to turn you upside down and shake you. I don't... I, I, like a cartoon he character. Can't, I'm a manager. I, I can't be touched. I'm not a wrestler. I, he's going to shake you, though. No. I definitely think no, he will. No, no, I don't think he'll do any such thing. My doctor won't even allow that to happen. Oh, well. Well, you know what? Honestly, we'll see what happens. Let's talk about Frankie Flo versus Len Oddity, shall we? I think Frankie Flo is going to annihilate Len in his own game. That's what I think. Well, you know what? I think Len and uh, Frankie Flo is going to be a quite a good match. And I got my money on Frankie Flo. <laughs> what do you think of that there, Len Oddity? <laughs> <laughs> wow, man. I don't know. You and Bonnie ain't going to be able to take on Frankie Flo. Frankie Flo is a big guy, bro, and you're skinny and malnutrition. L look at you, Len. You're, you're, you're a joke. There's no way you can hang with Frankie Flo. Well, honestly, <laughs> let me tell you something. Len has got a lot of tricks up his sleeve, but Frankie Flo has got a lot, too. Look at the size and of Frankie Flo. He's got to turn to wipe his rear end. Look at him. He's got muscles the size of Texas. And look at Len Oddity. He's skin and bones and looks like a, a reject from hell. Well, well, oh, Lord. Let me tell you something. I just hope that uh, you're ready for a butt whooping twice in one night because... Len's not going to touch me. He doesn't have a hair on his rear end to touch me. He, he, my doctor will destroy him. He ain't going to do nothing to me. <laughs> I don't know I'm about that, I'm not scared that, of Len Oddity. I don't know. Len Oddity should be scared of my doctor. That's, that's <coughs> he should be scared. He well, should he should keep his mind on Frankie Flo, not me. He's got a match with Frankie Flo. He shouldn't well, have to worry would, about me. Frankie Flo is going to take care of him before my doctor gets. He would to him. be afraid of a gynecologist, definitely, because he doesn't need one. But uh, let me tell you, you know what? Let's Chiropractor. Go. Oh, okay. Chiropractor. I'm, I'm going to tell my doctor everything. He's going <laughs> to give you a free adjustment on Saturday too. Oh my no, let's. It. You know what? Let's go to a quick break, and then we'll come back with more stronghold and. Uh, Maybe somebody else. On Frankie the Flo, everybody, and put my money on Frankie. Right.
And we're back. Are we? We are. Are we really? If you can call it that. Okay. And we're talking about Stronghold Pro Wrestling presents Over the Limits this Saturday. Oh, the magic came back. Six o'clock doors open at the new at the uh, NYWC Sportatorium. Boom. Yabble dabble. What? What? <laughs> hashtag yabble dabble. Is that what we're doing here? That's a true hashtag, huh? It is. Hashtag yabble dabble. Hashtag true yabble dabble. Oh snap! Oh snap! Oh, Vinny's like touching himself out there. When I think about you, I touch myself. No. Uh, all right, we're, hey, we're, we're that's cannibalism. We're 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 uh, Tommy's eating a munchkin. Um, cannibalism at its finest. Uh, I can so, probably yeah, we're, tell we're, you where they've been, but it's be, just a wild listen, guess. Whoa, whoa! Stop the side chatter, chatter. Let's get back on topic here. All right, we're on topic. Oh, Are we? You don't look too good. What? You look like you're gonna puke. I'm all right. Thanks. Tommy, nobody can hear that, but Tommy said he looks like crap. Tommy willingly gave up his seat so he can go contact a, uh, <coughs> a TV personality about the show on Saturday, Stronghold Pro Wrestling, at the NYWC Sportatorium off of Brook Avenue in Deer Park, New York. Boom! Tickets still available. Boom! General admission $20. Boom! Front row $25. Boom! $40 meet and greet special with the Pope D'Angelo De Niro. Boom! Boom! How do you like that? That's massive amounts of plugs right there. Yeah. It's good, though. That's... Are we expecting a call-in? Is that, is that what we're waiting on? Uh, we actually, we're going to call in. Uh, we're calling in? How do we call in ourselves? In? Well, who knows? I don't know if that's possible. Can you dial your own number? Like, hey, you just Tommy get... can because he leaves his phone on vibrate and automatic redial. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like uh, you know. Yeah, phone keep going off. Like that, man. Busy, busy man. <laughs> Running yeah, his yeah. stronghold. I don't think you understood the premise of what that meant entirely. I don't know. <laughs> So did you see the Miley Cyrus uh, photo recently that came no. out last week? Oh, my God. My wife. She's awesome. Let's just put it that way. I have Miley Cyrus like two Sil- rungs. Siler this? Right. I got her two rungs below the Ultimate Warrior. Oh, here we go. That's for later, though. Here, here we go. I'm waiting. If he's going to call in, he's got to call in now. I'm going to have him call in. Because me and Sean have a very hot button uh, issue we need to talk about, about you somebody's... Just, you, just, you just don't... You just don't like my opinion on this whole I, subject. I, I want you to give a more in-depth opinion. How much more there. in-depth of an opinion can I when, get? When, 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 uh, I want you to lay it out for me. There's some things I just didn't follow with it. Really? Yes. And, and yet you didn't chime in at all. About no, because I, you know, I said, you know, it's Monday night. Let's, uh, let's, let's, uh, <laughs> you know, but I don't know. There's side chat going on. I don't you know. Listen, ga- gentlemen. Gentlemen, before something dirty laundry gets aired on the radio accidentally, we are on take the, the conversation somewhere else. Yeah. Because I'm sure these mics can pick up a lot of things. Well, you go, you go, there's a green room right over there. Go, now, don't touch me, you're sick. Go over it. Do, do, I will punch you in a penis. Vitamin C right here, man. I don't care. Vitamin C does not protect you from being like, once you're sick, like, you're sick. Get away from my dr- Oh my god, are you kidding me? Coffee near my drink? Get the. Dude, get out of here. Get out of here. He should be banned from the rest of the episode. <laughs> um, man, this you guys. I come in here. I try to give some some order to the chaos that has been this show, and Tommy is now making me become part of that chaos <laughs> because he's trying to get me sick. Three days before Tommy's biggest show of his career. Quite possibly his. Why life. would you want me sick? You, you, you don't want that call, do you? No, man. Saturday morning, Tommy, I got the flu. You don't want that call. No, no exactly. So stay away from me. Go, go in the hallway. Report to the green room had, now. Had, yeah, you and Vinny. <laughs> yeah, you and Vinny the midget can have a midget powwow. Well, he's like a smurf. He's too out Vinny's of calling Manuel now. Listen, smurf versus midget in the green room right now. We got to stay on top. We got a call coming in. Let's, let's take that call. Can't find the on button for that mic. I got it. All right, well, who are we speaking to? You're live on the uh, heel in the face. Yes, hello. This is beautiful Bobby Dream. Whoa, couldn't tell it wasn't an old cap locks. What's up, Bobby? <laughs> How you doing, brother? What's going on? It's Ryan. Sean's here. Tommy and Vinny are having a midget fight somewhere in the green room somewhere. <laughs> What's going on, buddy? Are you, you stoked for uh, for Saturday? I was calling basically to find out who my opponent is, brother, because uh, <clears throat> I heard. Uh, 
my original opponent had uh, suffered some sort of injury or is not going to be on the show for whatever reason. Well, and uh, I heard he was faking it. <laughs> hey, look, man, I don't even have an opinion on that because Jesus. it doesn't affect me. You Bottom line is, he's not going to be there. So whoever's going to be put in front of me is going to have help to pay. But uh, I'm calling because I have no idea who I'm facing, and Tommy told me to call in. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, I know. Tommy just, just got word. Me. Tommy just told me. He popped his little turtle head out of the green room and uh, from his little pillow fight that he was having and with it Vinny. Was, it was. Did you see, like, the stretch marks in his neck? Oh, he was having a pillow fight with a man. Very nice. Yes, yes. And I believe they were, they were like, you know, like the little bubbles that pop up, like in cartoons where they, they put the, the words that the characters are saying in? Or thinking? <laughs> yes, where they were thinking. They were in all cap locks. So I know you're going to enjoy that, Bobby, when the comic book comes out. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> so Tommy poked his little turtle head out. Yes, that's a poop reference joke as well. And quickly to talk about cap locks, don't be upset and angry with me because everything I say has so much emphasis. Listen, I was at the store today, all caps. <laughs> I know what the problem with the cap locks is. I, I bought some milk. I can't differentiate between what is super important in that story because they're not in caps uh, and what is not super important. But it's okay. It's your gimmick. I'll work with it. You know, no hate. I just prefer proper grammar. Um, you mean grammar? Yes. Because you said gammer. Did, did I? You did. Uh, my bad because I, I you know, tripped on my own words. Sometimes that happens. Uh, I don't know what. When it happens, it does. He wants this man called in to find out whose opponent is, and now you're tell him already. So I heard through the grapevine, and that grapevine being Tommy C. uh, Your new opponent, Bobby, for Saturday at Stronghold Pro Wrestling at the NYWC Sportatorium. How's that in Deer Park? Boom. Is is gonna be Bobby Blue Jay. Bobby Blue Jay. Yes, Bobby Blue Jay. I know the name, you know, strikes terror in the hearts of all. He is the reflection of perfection. Yes, and of erections. <laughs> uh, so, thoughts, now that you know you have a few days to prepare for, for Bobby Blue Jay, who is a totally different style than uh, your original opponents, which was uh, Long Island's uh, gayest, I mean, finest, Cash. Uh, Let's not say anything sexually demeaning to any necess- you know, necessary. Uh, Sexual, uh, you know, uh, what is it called? Uh, you know, preference. You know, we, we don't have to go there, but let's just put it this right, way. Right, we Long can Island's get by finest, without saying Cash that. Camacho, he's off the card, brother. He's out, and this guy, Bobby Blue Jay, is in. Yes. Uh, listen, to be bef- honest with be- you, Bobby Blue Jay, I've never heard of him. Before, before we go any further, <laughs> I was going to say another gay joke, but fuck it. Continue. <laughs> Man, it's all these sexual innuendos <laughs> and all this. Come on, that was good. That was good. That was good. I like Cash. He's a nice guy. He's a nice, fine gentleman. Uh, Honestly, Cash, whatever happened, brother, I hope he's okay, man. I wish him all the best. I was looking forward to having a little program with him. But uh, Bobby Blue Jay, all kidding aside, I know he's a decent athlete. If he's going to step across the ring from me, I can guarantee you this. He's going to get the very best of Beautiful Bobby Dream, and Beautiful Bobby Dream is going to do everything in his power to put his hand raised in the air at the end of the match. Beautiful Bobby Dream... By hook or by crook, come hella high water, by any means necessary. It's going to do everything it takes and anything it takes to win. Does, does anybody realize this is the Battle of the Bobbies? <laughs> yes. Bobby it's Dream, Bobby, Bobby Blue Dray. This is going to be... Ex- Bobby match. Like, so wait, wait, how do you feel about having to... Sh- how, did, how do you feel, Bobby, about sharing a name with this gentleman? I have no feelings whatsoever about this gentleman because I don't have any feelings whatsoever about any gentleman. All I know, all I know is both your parents sat there for nine months and the best name they could come up with was Robert, which is a strong, very strong name. And now you're going to battle to find out who the better Robert is. Who deserves the nickname Bobby? It's going to be the battle of the Bobbies. Is that what you're trying to tell me? That's what I'm saying. Blue Jay versus Dream. I mean, you know... I guess it's going to be, you know, it's going to be the new show stealer because at the end of that match, all the fans are going to know that Beautiful Bobby Dream went out there and Beautiful Bobby Dream entertained them and Beautiful Bobby Dream won the match. I got a, I got a very serious question. What's happening? How many fine-ass Asian women are you going to show up with on the show on Saturday? <laughs> I need to know. I need to know how much I, I have to uh, endure before the show starts so that I don't have an accident at the show. I mean, I can't guarantee the uh I can't guarantee the number and I can't guarantee the uh 
<laughs> I can't guarantee the ethnicity, but I will tell you this. Wherever beautiful Bobby Dream goes, the fannies are sure to follow. Listen, I'm just and saying, if they're not Asian, I riot. <laughs> just saying. Okay, okay. You know, if, if, if you have a request, then, you know, I'm, those things can be arranged. Listen, That's not Bobby, a problem. listen, me and you were supposed to go Asian, you know, slop hunting. <laughs> Uh, months ago. Hey, we, can't, we can't talk about that on the air. That is not appropriate air material, sir. Listen, I, I don't know if you've listened to the show since I came on, but a lot of rules got tossed out the window as soon as I came on. Uh, and I'd love to come on again on Saturday, preferably with an Asian. What do you think? <laughs> that won't what? be a problem, I, brother. They'll be lining up after you, the show, man. We can do a <laughs> dance and jump and shout all night long I, at the pub of my choice. And I already know the pub I'm going to choose, and I'm not going to announce it over the oh, air. Man. Because I'm not going to have all these troglodytes and all these derelicts and all these degenerates following beautiful Bobby Dream where he goes. Where beautiful Bobby Dream goes, that's where the fannies are going to be. Did, he doesn't need any of these other sausages around. Did you hear that? You could actually tell what was super capitalized when he was cutting that. <laughs> I'm just it saying. It had like a font three. And it I, was I, caps. I knew there was a reason why I like talking to Bobby. <laughs> Not Blue Jay. I like the dream because he is living the dream, my man. You I, seen them promos? Pro, pro Wrestling this Saturday. Deer Park, New York, the NYWC Sportatorium, 7.30 p.m. sharp. Boom! This man could be on the show every week and do plugs. I, I could take off, and you wouldn't even know the difference. This man is fire. This man is fire. You better get your fanny in a seat. You better get your ticket now, Ooh. and you better be there on time. Don't That's be right. late. This man... Because once the opening bell rings, the show starts. And as soon as beautiful Bobby Dream's theme music hits, All of the Lights by Kanye West, and beautiful Bobby Jean mm. walks through that curtain, mm. I can guarantee you this. It's going to be the best part of the show. Church. My name is beautiful Bobby Dream. Bald is beautiful. Sweet dreams. Well, thank you for calling in, Bobby. We appreciate it. Man, did you see that? That man is fire. That is, that is capital F, capital I, capital R, capital E, fire. And uh, we wish we wish Cash the best. You know, we know he's uh, we know he's gonna recover quickly, and uh, we know he's gonna get by. So that's it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Come on, I, I have some funny jokes. Yo, man, you you left my seat very warm. I appreciate it. Yeah, because I've been farting on it. You probably have, man. I was like, oh, you're you're, you're coming up. I'm farting on this. <laughs> All right, so Sean, it's that time. It's time it's we have. We, we time we yeah. do this. It's time we do this. All I right? think we get to the. But please, nitty gritty. Please, as I'm gonna pull it up you know on what? Facebook, <laughs> right? The down. ultimate warrior going into the Hall of Fame. You know, while he does that, don't you want to reminisce on what you said on Facebook? Well, that's why I'm gonna pull it up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna quote Sean as soon as I You're find it. Me. Oh, okay. As soon as the internet here and uh, all these stronghold flyers disappear. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, just in case you forgot, Stronghold Pro Wrestling is on January 18th. <laughs> At the Deer Park Sportatorium in Deer Park, so, New York. So, here we go. Boom! Whoa, whoa, <laughs> Boom, stop baby. trying to take my job here. <laughs> oh my god, why is this not working? The internet here sucks, let me just say that. Uh, it's At least Wi-Fi. Good. Oh, because look at next to you. you got oh, because he's hogging up the IP addresses, that's why. <laughs> yeah. So basically... And this is uh, slightly cut off because yeah, my phone is not, oh, man. Look not at properly three. working. Um, the ultimate warrior in the WWE Hall of Fame. Are you effing kidding me? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Why? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Was the gobbledygooker busy that day? One question mark. Great. Just effing great. Exclamation point, exclamation point. Now the whole universe is going to a collapse. One exclamation point. For the next three months, everyone's going to be ramble aimlessly about mountains and lightning and talking to imaginary people in the heavens. And then it gets cut off after that. He says something funny about William Shatner, like doing an eight ball or something like that. Um, <laughs> no. It was Cooter approved. I'll tell you that much. Uh, so, okay, so yeah, what is your beef, bro? Why? Why on God's earth is the ultimate warrior in the Hall of Fame? What, okay, why shouldn't he be? Let's, let's, let's lay it out. What has he done to push the business? Other than being an 80s icon? How is he, how what, is he an 80s icon? Dude. Him, Hogan, WrestleMania. Dude, he was the first guy to pin Hogan cleanly in how long? The oh. guy was an enigma. Okay, so that's one thing. The guy was an enigma, bro. He moved. He, he drew. Wasn't a, he wasn't an enigma. Yes, he was. You're still talking about him today. The only reason I'm talking about him is because he was nominated in the Hall of Fame. And, and before that, people still talked about him. His promos, however bad they may actually be, are legendary. 
His promos are horrible. Why shouldn't he be? I on? needed a fistful of LSD and Thor right, comics right, to even you know make what? sense okay, of it. Okay, okay. So, uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin, why should he be in the Hall of Fame? What did he ever do? Stone Cold Steve Austin. Did what did he ever do? I like do? beer. What did he ever do? What did he ever do for wrestling? That, that's your argument. What did he ever do? There should only be one Hall of Famer then, apparently. Which means like Vince McMahon and guys who actually like, you know, move wrestling forward because of their ideas. <laughs> so no wrestler should ever go in the Hall of Fame. That's basically what you said. He was an icon, bro. An icon to who? Ultimate Warrior. He was an icon to himself. He was an icon to millions. I think Ultimate think Warrior. Think about why. Think why about was he an icon to Smart booking. Excellent booking. Then, then, then that's Vince McMahon. He should be in the Hall of so Fame. So Vince McMahon should be in the Hall of Fame, and that should end right there. I Nobody should ever be in the Hall of Fame. Ultimate Warrior sucked. Plain and simple. That's my that's opinion. That's right. He did. Okay. <laughs> so John fine. Cena should not be in the Hall of Fame. Ever. I hate John Cena. But right. he should never go in the Hall of Fame. Plain right. and simple. Bullshit. Being honest. What Hulk John... Hogan shouldn't be in the Hall of Fame. Hulk Hogan? Uh, I mean, why? Why? Not... Why? Why? Why should Hulk Hogan be in the Hall of Fame? Why not? What has he ever done? Hulk Hogan he couldn't wrestle. changed it. He wasn't a great wrestler. Oh my God, man! He wasn't a great wrestler. Oh, he was awesome. If that's your argument with Cena, Cena sucks. When you define an He's era, you go in. Simple as that. <laughs> Warrior defined an era. You can't put warriors <laughs> tell up to today's standards. Shit. You can't. You can't put up today's <laughs> standards based on the '80s. I was an Ultimate Warrior Mark II in the '80s. Yeah, but then I reached the age of ten and realized that he should okay. be in the Hall of Fame. But he still made an impact. Okay. So an, he goes in. No. An, on a an massive impact, impact yeah. bro. Absolutely. Why? Because massive. he by millions of people? Massive. He had fringes hanging off his ass, just oh, like Justin okay. Toxic. Okay, he couldn't work. <laughs> a lot of guys can't work. You know what I'm saying? But he was still, he was still the guy for how many years that people said, well, if he ever wrestles Hulk Hogan, we'll find out really who the guy is. And then we found out. Because he beat Hogan. Cleanly. That's, Middle of the ring. That's one. Grandest that's, that's stage of them one all. Thing you can give him. But, dude, before that, <coughs> I mean, um. think about it. He ended Honky Tonk Man's longest reigning, you know, IC, you know, championship uh, reign in history. Seconds, yeah, in seconds. What was it like? Twenty-one. Seconds. I think it was eight. <laughs> yeah, it's like eight seconds. They just destroyed him. Longest reigning IC champ destroyed him. Boom. Shut the world you couldn't throw a single guy at him that he couldn't destroy. WrestleMania actually was SummerSlam '88. When he came back, chase off, you know, Sid and Psycho, you know, and uh, Psycho Sid and, uh, you know, Papa Shango, bro, place erupted. Like, he, you know, he was gone for like two years. Came back, place erupted. That's how much of an impact this guy made. Why shouldn't he be in the Hall of Fame? I don't think he should be in the Hall of Fame. Why? Because. Because why? Because you're still looking at it like all from a pure wrestling standpoint? Get over it. It's an entertainment company. Because he's. Thank you. It's an entertainment company. He's got five. It says it in the name. He's got five wrestling five moves. Wrestling and and probably even less than that. Cena's got five moves. Stone Cold had five moves. Kevin Nash had five moves. Macho Man had five moves. Everybody Bret did. Bret Hart man. had five moves. Shawn Michaels had five Cena's moves. Got five moves. Yeah, Cena added a sixth move the other night, randomly against Damian right. Sandow. <laughs> but like, yeah, lots of wrestlers have five moves because those are the moves that people can connect with when they're about to come. You build an emotional investment. No. <laughs> No, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> Point being, I have five moves. I bet you do. I do. I got a thousand in the bed, but I got five in a wrestling <laughs> oh, ring. Oh, man. Wow, oh, dude. You're, you're going with that. Okay. Couldn't cut a promo. Or he could cut the greatest promos. Oh, How Ooh. do you want to look at it? The look on Tommy's face. Come on, man. Like the greatest <laughs> promo ever cut in professional wrestling is the oh, Cockpit Doors it. promo. The what? Knockdown. The Cockpit. <laughs> That was, the, that was a good I mean, he literally one, yeah. talks about committing suicide and murdering Hogan in the same promo. Amazing. Either the worst promos or the greatest promos. He did the worst. <laughs> yeah. He did the worst. Because Benoit was on a Hall of Famer, period. Even before he murdered his wife and child. <sighs> I still don't think he belongs in the Hall of Famer. Dude, you say Ultimate Ooh. Warrior right now, and people will be like, oh, yeah, wrestling. Yeah. Instantly, no. The guy transcends. Instantly, no. Same way that if you say The Rock. Same way if you say Stone Cold. Same way if you say Hulk Hogan. People just instantly know. Andre the Giant wasn't a great wrestler. Why is he in the hall? He couldn't cut a promo. Why is he in the hall? Why is he the first Hall of Famer? Because hmm? he's Andre the Giant. Why? 
Because he, he made, made an awesome. Impact. Because he made an impact. You can't say nothing negative about him. He's you can't awesome. go based on stats because wrestling doesn't have any. I sat in no, his hand. No, I'm not basing no. my <laughs> what. So you got to go by impact. You got to go by impact and importance. And the Warrior from the, in the 80s to the early 90s was extremely important. If Coco Beware is a Hall of Famer, Ultimate Warrior is a Hall of Famer. So Coco be Beware. Like yeah. Coco Beware. I would rather see Ultimate Warrior than Coco Beware. Well, Coco Beware is already in it. So. I know, but I'm saying in a match today, it would be Ultimate Dude, Warrior. It wasn't so important. Do you honestly think you would have beaten Hogan at WrestleMania 6? I'll bring a parrot on my shoulder Wait, any day. What do, you, what do you call that? Great marketing? <laughs> why great don't Hogan? want... Why don't... Why? I don't like the Ultimate Warrior. You don't like him. Okay, so your personal <laughs> opinions... <laughs> why not? Why don't Sean you? doesn't like him. That's why? Yeah, well, I wasn't an be Edge honest. fan. Be honest. Tell Edge us why. Was, like the biggest piece what? of shit. There must be a reason. What's the one reason? All right, I number one. How is his promos? How do you think? The horrible. His in-ring experience. How do you think? Even worse. Really? Really? I'm not. I'm not a big fan of Ultimate Warrior. How was his impact? I... Phenomenal. I guess you got me on when that. When he does his finisher or anything in that ring. What finisher? Whatever he's going to finish I can lift that, you that over my head and drop you. Gorilla, gorilla, plash, uh, gorilla Press followed by a splash. Yeah, by a splash. I can lift you over my but head. How do I know that? that? How do I know exciting? that? You want to see when, me? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Because, you know, Shawn Michaels <laughs> kicking you in the face is the most exciting thing in the world I as well. I never said that. Yeah. You know, but, but your arguments are just weak. They're weak, Sean. They're weak. I'm just, I'm just having a cold the other day when I was weak. sick. weak. They're weak. Move on. I didn't like Edge. Should he not be in the Hall of Fame? I was just like, ah, I don't care about Edge. Never cared about him. Severely made less of an impact than the Ultimate Warrior did in wrestling. He's in the Hall of Fame. Well, I ain't judging the guy by you know, what kind of person you are. I'm judging you by I, what you did. I simply think you shouldn't be in the Hall of Fame. Well, your opinion is invalid. Pete Rose is in the Hall of Fame. Pete Rose is not in the Hall of Fame. No, well, he's not. Oh, in the Baseball Hall of Fame. I thought he's, you meant. Okay, never mind. Yeah. No. He's, yeah, but, he's, but he's in the celebrity wing. That you, know, you can't that's really count nothing. that. That's nothing. Like, and that was just yeah. a stunt because he was trying to that's push. That's bullshit. Oh, that was just a stunt. Drew, Drew Carey's in the WWE. Push. Push. So, but that's the celebrity wing, so you can't yeah. really count that. Gonna say, They're gonna, and the story doesn't belong there? Are you kidding me? And what? The celebrity wing of what? Of WWE. Hall of Fame. Where is the WWE Hall of Fame? There's not a physical one, but there's a... There is. Isn't there? No, there's no. Yeah, they're gonna be in Orlando or something, right? It's not there yet. They're gonna build one. There's not a physical one like Canton or you know Cooperstown, but there there will be. He forgot about Toronto, but that's okay. What for hockey? Yeah. Nobody cares about hockey. I do. Well, you also don't care for the Ultimate Warrior, so your opinion is invalid. Yeah. I was having this conversation with Keaton actually today. Were you? Yes, we were talking about his angry wrestling vet or promoter or whatever the hell his name is. uh, Put up a status. And he had me. I was like, I agree with this guy. 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 Until he said the last sentence. And I was like, and there goes his entire argument. I didn't see it. No. Oh. Well, basically, the argument is less is more. Ring psychology and philosophy. Two amazing things, right? Both have something in common. Less is more. The less you say, the less that somebody else can counter argue. Because what happens is I, you give a 30-minute speech that includes... Uh. 15,000 sentences, right? <laughs> I find one sentence that I can counter-argue, oh. and then I start chipping away at your entire rant, essentially. One sentence can be counter-argued, your entire rant crumbles. Are you sure you're not Italian? I am Italian. Oh, okay. So yeah. anyway, He's Jewish, from. though, more. But I'm Jewish. I'm smart. That's where that comes from. And I have a college degree. And I graduated college with a 3.9 GPA, which is awesome, because the highest you can get is 4.0. For those of you who don't know, and we had a lot of wrestling people out there, so I'm sure a lot of them don't know. <laughs> just saying, I'm an anomaly backstage. I'm just I know, man. Educated, run I'm my own sorry. Business. I went to Hofstra, so I really don't know about that. I partied a lot. Oh, the STD, uh, <laughs> college capital of the world. It really is. Hofstra has the highest rate of STDs in any college nationwide. What well, now, right? Because when I was, it wasn't like the that. Last twenty years. Not only does oh, so I might possible. as well. I'm in that. <laughs> we got Jewish jokes. Go it's cool. Sit down. <laughs> penny but. saved is penny earned. Well, another thing of the uh, Ultimate Warrior, I just have one other thing. When he pins somebody, how many people do you see standing out of their seats? That's wonderful. And how many people? He made an impact. Huge impact. Yeah. He drew. He drew, bro. Sold out. I'm not a big fan of him, 
I don't really particularly like them, but I would take you know I would defend him a little bit right now because he can draw. He does everything. He Sean, needs you're zero for two on this this whole you know? fame thing. Just, just you I, know, like, <clears throat> I think I, I he deserves just it. Just be like. Yeah, I put it this way. Put it this way, Sean. Be like the guy in baseball that gave away his uh, Hall of Fame, uh, Hall of Fame vote to Deadspin, and just give yours away because you clearly you're you I struck out with Benoit. You struck out here with Ultimate Warrior. I think I should take over the the uh, face of the year instead of heel of the year. You mean the host of the yes, year? Yes, it's I'm only because I'm sick right now. No, yeah, you, yeah, what was that? Your excuse with the Benoit I'm argument? Sick too no, right no, now, no. man. Do we have anybody else that you'd like to talk about that Hall of Fame? We could talk about it next week. Like who deserves to be in? We'll, we'll see who's. Give me a, give me a name week. that you're like. Oh well, no, I don't think they're going to announce anybody until after the Rumble because that's what they usually do. Yeah, like so like the, the you're first out of luck. big name gets like a few weeks of just being the only name that they promote because that's the headliner. Yeah, so you're in a lock. Spitting out. Nah, Batista's coming back. He ain't going on the Hall of Fame. He's coming back to WWE, you dummy. See, if you made the argument that Batista shouldn't be in the Hall of Fame, I could be like, okay. I can, I can go I with that like one. I don't like Batista. I can go with that one. I that guy has less. You know, he's basically the ultimate warrior. Can't cut a promo, can't really wrestle, right? But he, he had no. Even, but, he had, but, but he had no. And he don't like his fan. He don't like fans. Who doesn't? Uh, he doesn't. He does not like autograph signings or appearances. Well, yeah. In his contract, it strict, strictly says he does not have to. Well, he's a celebrity. This is what happens. No, he's a jerk. Or that. They're not mutually exclusive. Kurt Angle belongs. Kurt Angle belongs. Kurt either. Angle. That's a different story. I'd say he does. Edge doesn't. No, Edge. I don't think so. Edge. He didn't define yet. an era. No, well, he's already in. Yeah, I don't think he yeah. deserved it. He only got in because he had to retire early. Yeah, because he fucking. Ruined himself. At least they got one thing right. Flair's in it twice. <laughs> well, this year they're talking about there's a possibility, there's a rumor going around that they might actually induct a match into the Hall Didn't of Fame. Didn't they say something about bringing yeah. Sting into the Hall of Fame? Yeah, but he's, they're not going to do it until he's done. And I, I, I doubt he'd probably... I would, I'd be surprised if Sting even accepted because they have to, he has to accept in order for them to actually that go would, ahead that, do it. That would be quite interesting. Yeah. You know? Because he's never worked WWE ever. And that's the... the <laughs> that would be the kicker of it all. Yeah. Shut up. You're fired. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, let's take a break. When we come back, we got, we got to talk about some reactions to the awards and uh, reactions to uh, SWA. So, Hall Monitor, I'm, I'm going to let you do the, the uh, honors of picking any song that you want, and we'll be back. You ready, Hall Monitor? Uh-oh, all right, she's sweet. ready. Comfort you, my dear. 
Yeah, and we're back. Oh, I just stole Tommy's thunder. Oh, yeah. Right, welcome everybody back. He's not in the Hall of Fame. Uh, not still not in the Hall of Fame. So uh, let's talk about some of the uh, reactions that we got from the the Smark, not the S Dash Mark Awards, the Smark <laughs> Awards. Uh, we got a lot of reaction, a lot of reactions, a lot of positivity. <clears throat> Uh, Brandon Gold, who won for Man of the Year, he wrote something very uh, heartfelt in an acceptance. Uh, David Adams, who won Ring Announcer of the Year, wrote I think something very heartfelt. Everybody did. Jack you know. Gallo did. Uh, Stockade posted it as one of his graphics on his Facebook. Gallo did. Uh, Corey Price, who won Referee of the Year, which was a hot button issue for a split second there one <laughs> yeah. day before someone deleted the thread. Not pointing names. Not hey. wasn't you. Wasn't any of us. But I'm just saying. Good thing I screenshotted it. So if I ever need to uh, go back to it, I can. Um, Lots of positivity going on about the uh, the Smark Awards. You know, uh, very excited about that. Uh, photos were blowing up. We we gained new followers to the show. I'm gonna I mean, try to do it. The Smark Awards. Don't 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 no, don't. Please. We don't have to hear that for another year. So stop. Lots of positivity though. Uh, what, Sean? Thoughts on the Smark Awards? How they went out? I thought they went very well. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. I thought the show went very well from the opening monologue right through. And it spawned a new idea. It did. The shooting gallery, which is what? Going to debut January 29th? Is January that what it is? 29th. So, Sean, do you want to explain what the shooting gallery is going to be? The shooting gallery is when we're going to invite a, a panel of professional wrestlers and staff, both in the studio and on the phone. And we're going to break the fourth wall, so to speak. Ooh, I love breaking fourth walls. And we're, gonna just, and we're just going to leave it open for the panel to shoot... With us kind of moderating. Okay. 
about <laughs> different subjects. And what is the first subject? The first topic will be the state of independent professional wrestling. Ooh, that's My medium. parents used to get mad when I broke walls. They really did. Tell your dad to stop. When I was in high school. <laughs> <laughs> when I was in high school, girls used to get mad when I broke walls. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, brother. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. But anyway, man, this oh. is it. <laughs> this whole monitor is hitting me over We're here. We're going to be breaking some walls in the studio. Well, if anything, if I bring the comedy to the show, it's okay. <laughs> a lot of the comedy is around, you know, stuff that you probably shouldn't say, which is <laughs> it's the stuff good. that I'm going to say because you shouldn't say it. It's all good. <laughs> You know, my favorite rap artist is Trill TF. And you ever hear what that guy says? Oh, man. He, I don't know. He's I like Trill TF right. because he shares my middle name. Uh, moving forward, uh, yes, let's talk about uh, the Smarks a little bit more. Anything else you want to add on there? What was the most shocking, the, you know, the, the, the biggest uh, shocker of the night, would you say? I got two. Okay. Ooh, uh, let's you, hear it. And then we'll go to Tom oh and, and see what he thinks. I got two. I think Manager of the Year shocked the hell out of everybody. Out of curiosity, why? Because not only was it decided by one vote, one vote. But I think it went the way that every that nobody was expecting. That's not my list. That's something else oh, that we're going to be talking man. about. I don't have it. Where is it? It's, I, come on, you don't know who won the awards? No, I do. Helped I do. Them out. I definitely do. I have really no shockers on it, you know? You don't think Brandon Goldman was shocking? I, I think it was shocking. Um, Wait, yeah, put a break on that. Yeah, I think that was one of the biggest shockers. Cause who did you think should have won? Bonnie Oddity. Really? She yes. Was, she was clearly and commandingly leading. Yeah, but... but And she's a woman. But you don't think even if she would have won, you don't think that would have been a shocker? Because I would have still said Crush Dugan should have won that thing. I, honestly, I voted for Dugan, but over... You know what shocked me about Crush Dugan? Mm. Not more people voted for him. That's, yeah. I mean, he finished in third. But still, like, not more people voted for him. Yeah, that... It, that Yo, you Turn know your what? phone off now. Turn your phone off there, you loser. Jesus, am I the only one who actually no, acts professional? Mine's off. I always have yeah, it Yeah, after the first 10 minutes of it going off on the show. Because Robbie was friggin' blowing up my phone, man. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> I don't really have any shockers. I'm not shocked that Brandon won, to be honest. Why are you not shocked? I'm just not. I, nah. I was, you know, I'm friends with him on Facebook. I saw the, you know, the push for him, the last push in the last three days that he was receiving. You know, it didn't really shock me, but maybe that's because I was an insider looking in because I got to see as the, the vote, the voting, as as it occurred. You know, the tracking of it because it was IP, you know, address tracked. You know, uh, to prevent any manipulation of the sorts. And Brennan did a big push the last three days. And from beginning to end, I was shocked at the Middle East connection. That didn't shock I me. Wasn't, I wasn't. I. But then again, was, I'm, I'm, I'm I'm familiar with their work, so I. It I actually. Me because it's a program that we don't cover. Okay. Or that haven't extensively covered. I actually watched the match of theirs, and let me tell you, I was impressed big time. Again, I, I, was, <coughs> I was impressed when I saw it's it. Not so, it's yeah. not so much that they shocked you because of their talent. It's just because we don't really promote too much of right. where they work out. We don't, yeah. co- we, you know, we don't cover a lot of people. But that's the thing. And that's what won. I like about this show, even though because we do talk about wrestling. It's not always just about Stronghold or uh, ECPW or SWA. It's, you know, we cover wrestling, you know. So, you know, we're going to branch out, though, right? Aren't we? We Coming are. Up soon? We're branching out? A couple of us. I don't know if all of us are going to be, but a couple of us are going to be at the NYWC show next Saturday. 25th. No, I didn't get my invitation. Sorry. No, I didn't get mine either. So. No, so I don't know where the heck you're talking. I think you didn't know. No, I didn't. Oh, did well, you know? I heard rumors of it, but I didn't know it was <laughs> definitely confirmed or not. I didn't know either. I'll tell you this much: I know as a team, we reached out to VPW. Uh, we're still waiting on a response back from them. Yes, we did. Uh, they got a lot of love. <laughs> yeah, listen, listen. I know, Tommy. Relax. I know. This is why you got me. You yeah. let me do all the talking, and you do the no showing, and we'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, but uh. But speaking of shows that we do cover, let's talk about Mugs and Coco before we run out of time tonight. We got plenty of time. But let's talk about it because we don't know how long this is going to take. There's a lot Mugs, to cover. Lot to Mugs cover. Mugs and Coco. Now you can reveal that paper. Yes. Well, that's that's for something else that we're going to talk about. Us to be wise. Uh, Mugs and Coco. Uh, let's just talk about the bigger shocker of the night. Can we? 
Can we talk about? You want to lean in right with that and then roll downhill from there? Yeah, why not? All right, let's 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 let's, um, let's do it. Uh, Biggest shocker of the night: new SWA Pride champion, one half well of the formerly known as Beard Life, Johnny Malloy. And the second biggest shocker would be that Beard Life, at the moment, no longer a team. No, no, they definitely aren't. I, I don't even know what to make of it. It was so out of the blue. It it, it definitely was. Uh, completely out of the blue. Uh, I think the third biggest shocker of the night uh, would be the uh, failure of the uh, officiating staff that night, if particularly in one match, uh, the Battle Royal. How do you have an over-the-top rope Battle Royal? And it comes down to two guys, and one guy doesn't go over the top rope. Both referees see this. Both referees see this. Both. Let's just keep, let me just say, both guys see him go through the ropes, and yet they still declare the other guy the winner. How does that happen? You and I have been talking back and forth and, about this. And what week. shocks me more is there hasn't been an official SWA statement about, regarding that. The guy who wins gets the last spot in the snow brawl, you know, rumble. Which is announced for March 1st. Yes. March 1st, Snow Brawl takes place at NYWC Sportatorium. And now this guy has an advantage over every other guy because he, the, the officiating was so poor that the last elimination in the match shouldn't have been an elimination. You can't go through the ropes to lose an over-the-top rope battle royal. And not a single official statement from SWA has been posted about this. I call shenanigans. To quote one of those officials. Shenanigans, is that your word? No, well, clearly I'm qu- it's not. I'm quoting one of the officials that had some choice words for us after I uh, politely explained to him about referee of the year. But, but maybe this is why we determined it. Because how do you see it and not call that? He didn't, go, he didn't go over the top rope. He did not go over the top rope. I would love to blame Tommy, but he's not even the director of authority over there, over there anymore. No, I'm not. Thank you. Well, technically <laughs> until the end of the show when he was fired by your new pride champion, he was the director of authority. He was, but he was, he was afraid. But so. Jerry Warner took over the whole show. And then fired him. Yes. After winning the championship title. Yeah. Ain't that so funny? Never mind. Well, that's another story we can have a whole discussion <laughs> on on January 29th, which would be like. Um, <coughs> but yeah, I mean, Really? I mean, you had some cool debuts that came out. You know, um, Smiley was fun to watch. Yes, he was. Um, uh, what was his name? Uh, the guy who wrestled Cash. I can't remember his name. Matt McIntosh? Is yes. that what it was? It didn't matter. I think it's Matt, not right? an apple. Oh, my God. That was the <laughs> cheesiest joke ever. Um, I liked his work. He was cool. Yeah, that you was know. a good match. Cash <laughs> shit the bread in that match. Cash what? Shit the bed. <laughs> what? She shit the bed in that match. Cash shit the bed? Yes. Go watch the match and tell me he didn't shit the bed. Okay. I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm a worker. I can say these things. He shit the bed. And I watched it with other workers who all said, Wait, he shit the bed. <laughs> that's a little... I don't quite think weird. that's what he meant. That's not what I mean. Oh, okay. So go back to your corner, you gimp. Back under your troll... Here, Vinny, here's a glossary of wrestling terms. Yeah. No, you know, <laughs> and that's not knocking cash. Them learn them, they'll be it's, a not, later. it's not knocking <laughs> cash because I've had matches where I shit the bed. It happens. It just happens. So tell me, what, since I got to ask. Are we breaking the fourth wall completely here? Because I'll point out a bunch of things that. You Go know, for it. Um, when you start another TV wrestler's chance, not once but twice, that looks poorly on you. It does. I'm sorry. That's not your property. It's not your intellectual property. Like, stop doing that. That's somebody else's shit. <laughs> Use your own shit. You know, come up with your own shit or don't do anything at all. Uh, when, when you're the baby face, when you're the baby face, right, and you're clearly, and he was, he was clearly in the beginning of the match out wrestling Mr. McIntosh without a shadow of a doubt. Going move for move from him and getting the one up on him every time. There's no need to punch that man in the face. Why'd you punch him in the face? 
What kind of baby face superhero he was are you? Ugly looking. I don't know. What kind of superhero good guy will you want kids to know? Like, oh yeah, when you're, oh. when you're already being somebody, it's okay to kick a Wait, man while he's down. Are you talking about that ATL guy? No, I'm just saying oh, in okay. general. All right. You you want kids to cheer for you? You want you know parents to be like that's the, the role model you want? Why are you punching that man in the face when he did nothing but wrestle you, which is his job, and you were already out wrestling him? I call that poor psychology. Did you say BLT? Yeah. <laughs> no. I call that poor wrestling. I, <laughs> yeah. No? Anybody want to argue that one? I'm not even involved. I'm in just this. ignoring what he says now. Because I'm trying to stay on topic here. Because honestly. But McIntosh, I like him. He's, you know, he's a good talent. Yeah, I'm just saying, Cash had a bad match. That's all. It happens. I've had bad matches. I could go back and show you some matches from me in Jersey that were just terrible. Like, what the hell was I doing? Nobody's perfect. And if you think you are, you're a mark. You know, true. Just saying. Um, there's some other matches I was just like, oh, okay. There were some good matches. Caden Ricky was amazing. Yes, that was a good match. That was amazing. Though my one knock on that match would be Caden started yes chant too, and it's like, oh, come on, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? This is not your shtick. Easily an early candidate for match of the year. I would say so. That was a good match. It was a good match. Um, very solid. I mean, even the six man main event was, you know, for the most part, entertaining. Uh, yeah, what was the name of the, 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 the long-haired guy in that match? He was fun to watch. In the six-man? Yeah. Oh, no, I'm talking about the main event. You're talking about the, uh, the six-man suicide, yeah. right? Which got overshadowed because you had a six-man main event as well. Uh, so I could see why you got confused. But no, I'm just saying, hey, listen, listen. You know, he, you know, he can call in. He can, you know, whatever. We'll have an open, polite discussion about it. It's not hard to have a, a – not every debate is an argument. Like, people need to differentiate the two. Um, Craven. Cra Craven, uh, I can't remember his last name. Craven Varro. I believe that's his name. Did you say Greg Navarro? No, Craven Varro. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> not the guy who used to be with Carmen Electra. I was um, going to say, I thought we were talking no, music. No, no, no. Well, he was good. He was fun to watch. Yeah. Definitely fun to watch. Um, JDK, he was fun to watch. You know, he thought he had it, too. Until so, uh, my boy, the rogue, Anthony Gangone, came in and stole his thunder. Uh, no, I mean, there was a lot of good talent in that match. I can't remember the, the other guy's name. I think Damian Gibbs. Was that his name? Damian Gibbs? I think so. Sounds familiar. Um, you know, he was, uh, he was, you know, he had a good showing as well. You know, no knock. It was a fun match. It was a fun little match to watch. And, you know, uh, it, you know it was definitely, uh, definitely interesting. Um, you know, my only knock on that match was at certain points, it seemed like it was a little bit of a clusterfuck, which is to be had. Um, and I don't understand why each guy needs like 45 seconds, you know, to come out. And like, I swear to you, like five minutes were burned just introducing six guys. You know, like each guy had to walk around the ring and you know, get their stuff. And it was just like, come on, just get in the ring and start the match already. Thank you. You know, uh, Oh, did I say that out loud? You did. Wow. Well, you know, Hatch had a very interesting match. Hatch was good, man. Hatch, I like Hatch. Hatch is good. His opponent? Wow. Don't ever bring that guy back. Who the heck was it? Miggs or something? I don't know. Yeah. Definitely, uh, definitely, uh, just, uh. It's my background on my phone. It's my Osiris Topless. <coughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, no, biggest, biggest shocker of the night. No more beard life. And... No more beard life. Your boy CJ got the title stolen from him. Stolen. Couldn't finish the match. Stolen from him. Uh, yeah, no. Um, but moving on, some other SWA things we got to talk about. Uh, top five rankings. I want to talk about this real quick. How big a horse shit are these top five rankings? <laughs> No, I'm serious. I'm serious. And here's my argument to this, right? Let's go, let's go through them. Top five rankings. It's not that I argue. At four of them, I, I, I say, okay. I just don't like the positioning of them. Uh, the five that are on there uh, at the moment, uh, Justin Toxic, Chris Caden, CJ Antonino, Ricky Richards, Ragdoll. Okay. Here, just to clarify, you went from number one down. Right? Yes. Yeah. Justin Toxic is at number one, which makes... I can see the argument for that one. He is technically the number one contender right now. Chris Caden is at number two. I'm sorry, Chris. I love you to death. You shouldn't be at number two. At the very best, you should be at three. Uh, number three, CJ Antonino. 
this is where I find these rankings to be horseshit. <laughs> he said horseshit. Yes. <clears throat> um, how is CJ Antonino number three on this list? Let's look at it. He just lost the title, right? Okay, so clearly he has a rematch. Shouldn't that put him at number one? And if your argument is Justin Toxic is the number one contender, it's like, okay, but CJ is a champion. Every champion gets a, a rematch, yes? Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah, definitely. CJ's got a better record, 6-1 and one to Justin Toxic's 3-4. and four. You can't make the argument that Justin's wrestled better competition than CJ. He was the champion. He's wrestling the best competition. How is he not number one on this list? Technically, you can still give a title match to Justin Toxic at number two. Yes. Because he's the, he was the former number one contender. Yeah. And not to mention Justin Toxic lost in the six man. He didn't win. Yeah, CJ lost too, but that's CJ's only loss. So at best, Chris Caden should be at three. Ricky should be at four. If, if you, know, you can make the argument maybe Ricky shouldn't even be on it, but let's just say he is because that's who they put on. Ricky's at number four. Okay, Ragdoll, uh, really? First of all, they count one of the victories as Chris Caden. You know, that Ragdoll's listed as 3-0. and uh, One of those victories is when Chris Caden wrestled as Ragdoll and did the unveiling when he won the snowball. That should not count. That should be a Chris Caden victory, not a Ragdoll victory. He's got a point. He wasn't even at the last show. Ragdoll, how is he still on that list? Uh, He's got a point, too. When other people were uh, at the last show, they were knocked off the rankings. Yep, you know. yep, yep. Like, I can see the argument of CJ, because, you know, we all know he got hurt. Um, suffered a concussion. He might have blown his knee out in the, the championship match. I could see, hey, if he's not at Snowball and he's not at the show after that because he's recovering, okay, yeah, he gets knocked down the list because he, he's inactive. You know, but to be at number three right off the bat, I disagree with. And I would like for us to be able to make a correction to this, this, this power ring. I'm sorry. Maybe somebody, you know, had a, it was an oversight. It's possible. I'm just saying. Doesn't make any sense to me. Maybe at least you list him at two. Like I said, I can see the argument of Justin Toxic being number one. I can see that argument. Okay. I still think CJ should be number one. And you know me. I'm not a CJ Antonino mark. I'm not. You know, you're the CJ Antonino mark, Sean. I'm not. But I'm going hard because I feel this is the correct thing. Maybe a referee will want to call in. Maybe he'll want to argue with me on this one. And then I'll just turn to him and be like, well, how did Head Rush lose that battle royale? You jerk and hang up on him. How's that for taking shots? Uh, you're, you're just cool of them today. All right. Well, let's keep moving with SWA. I like it. Let's keep moving with SWA. Because they just put out their list for their awards. Yes, they don't have they as did. many as us. We, have, we had 21. Uh, they only have 10. Uh, they're polling. Uh, could be rigged, could be not. Can't see the results. Um, don't know. You can't see the results? No, you can't. You vote, and it says, thank you for voting SWA Revolution. doesn't show you. Uh. I don't know why. I'd like for somebody to argue. So, so in essence, these awards, they don't count? Well, no, I mean, they count in somebody's eyes. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but let's run them down, and then I'll point out the things that I dis- disagree with on these. Uh, next big thing. They have four, and, and that's the other thing, too. We had like six things on ours, you know, five, you know, what seemed to be the average on our awards. They have like three or four tops on theirs. Uh, their first award is called the Next Big Thing Award. Uh, and their four finalists are Canadian Luchador, Nova Scotia, Nobody Cares. Uh, the New Age Terminator Trigger, he, how is he the next big thing? He's been around for years. Uh, Marquis Alexander, who? And the winner, at least who should be the winner, uh, we won't ever really know if he actually won or not. Um, the rogue, Anthony Gangone. That's my pick. I'm sorry, the guy's the best out of the bunch. Give me the sheet. Can I announce the next award? Yeah, please. Thanks. Tommy's looking at me like, oh, man, we're opening up a can of worms. It's all on me, Tommy. You haven't said anything. I dare somebody to argue with me. So I think it's all Breakout bullshit. wrestler of 2013. That's, I just, oh, oh yeah, no, breakout. Oh, I'm sorry. There were three nominees, and the first one is Your Hero. Tommy's Mike hero. Mac. Tommy's hero. Okay. The second one is Justin Toxic. Okay. And the last one is Ragdoll. If he wins, it's bullshit. We know these are rigged. I'm just saying. How many guys come to see Ragdoll? Raise your hand. How many guys come to see Justin Toxic and Mike Magnum put on a performance? My pick is Justin Toxic. 
He's been around every single show. He's the number one contender. He's solid. That's you know that's close, but I gotta go, Mike Magnum. Uh, what? Yep. How could you say he was the breakout wrestler of 2013, bro? He wrestled like two shows. He stinks. He doesn't stink. He, he fakes. He lies. Two shows. He's a cheater. Toxic's there every time he puts on. He steals yep. performances. Toxic. Strategy. Ah, oh, you're. Ah. You're lame. But you know what? It's not saying it's, you know not, that? it's not most strategic wrestler of 2013. It's breakout wrestler of well, 2013. He broke out when he pulled that. Oh, yeah? Well, Toxic yeah. broke out because he's number one contender. You better believe it. Boom. Okay. Word. Moving on. Better luck next year yeah. award. Uh, the protector of professional wrestling, Jack Gallo, Jay Fabs, MC3 and Riley Daniels together, and director of authority, Tommy Say. I bet you 10 bucks. I know what that title says. Better luck next year? <laughs> I guarantee I it everybody year. is going to probably vote on me, definitely. Uh, and then if they do, and if I know, win out of that... You're the only one who lost his job, so I'm going <laughs> to yeah, say you so should yeah. be the, the front runner. All yeah. these guys at least yeah. still have a job. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, then you know it's definitely rigged. Well, yeah. I think it's rigged anyway. Yeah. So uh, let, it, let us see this is the results. Why can't we see the results as we vote? That's all I'm saying. We showed you our results. You want to take the next one, Sean? <sighs> you want to take the next one? You know what? Dude, we're we're little, number four. We're I'll have a little four. fun with this. Why not make SWA feel good for once? Love to hate a word. Everybody's, lo- everybody's hating on SWA. I'm not hating No, on I'm not them. hating. I'm just saying, I'm hey, just seeing, I'm pointing out flaws. You know what? It, like, well, Tommy's before, hating on him. No, I'm sorry. No. Well, he's bitter. He got fired. I, I would be hating No, too, it's not a hate. Before I even say anything about these, with the awards, like Ryan just said, why can't we, as the voters, see... Okay, so and so has this many votes left. This, I this. hate that. I hate Why can't that. we see that? I don't know if it's IP address, you know, tracked. I don't know. Nothing. Who knows? Who cares? Let's see it. You know, this I think is all rigged. So the fans that are voting for this, you're being screwed. All right, but here, SWA is uh, number four. Love to hate award, best villain, damaging stars, lover, toxic, and Reyes. As a group. As a group. Okay, damaging as a group. Yes, and the Grim Reefer. Okay. The one percenter of professional wrestling, Ricky, Ricky Richards. Richards, Esquire the Third. That's it, those three. Those three. Okay, why only those three? Why is the category is it... so... All right, the rest are not so bad. I'm shocked that, that Braden Knight's not on that list. Yeah, but why is it only three? Why isn't it four or five? We had like something like yeah, that. Yeah, but sometimes. no, we're, but I can understand because we're covering all these different promotions. So but we on have that, a lot of, on, we have a on, bigger pool to choose from. On my pick, love to hate award. I don't care about Ricky Richards in this category. I don't care about Damage Inc. in this category. Grim Reefer. John, I gotta go with Grim Reefer too. I'm gonna go with Ricky, and I'll tell you why. Yeah, Reefer's been there for two shows. Why. Two shows. We're counting for the year. For the year. If maybe this is the love to hate for the last three months. Yeah. But we're talking about the year. But again, you, you, you. But again I'm going to use I'm going to throw your argument from before right back in your face. Okay. Okay. Did Grim Reefer in the two months, in the two shows of, this, of the end of this year that he was there, make an impression? Yes. Did Ricky Richards make an impression? He always does every show. He always does every show. So was Reefer's that big? Uh, you know, even if Reefer has it on Ricky, the last the two shows that they were on the card together, right? Was it that huge of a difference between those two shows from Reefer to Ricky's that it overshadows the rest of what Ricky did the rest of the year? Tell me how big it was, right? To twist and manipulate the protector of professional wrestling. Did, we, did he twist and manipulate him, or was that just he waiting? He twisted to, and manipulated. I, I listen, listen. I'm going to say that was waiting to happen. Reefer just happened. It to was. Be there. It was. But Reefer was the boot that kicked his ass over the edge. Maybe, but does that impact more? Is it is that as a big and significant as an impact as Gallo's going to snap regardless? It's just a matter of when. I, I it, still it think, if you're talking about a yearly award, you got to give the edge to the guy who's been there all year. In this case, it's Ricky Richards. But do you put that edge up against the past two shows and what Reefer has done? Yes, because he's been there all year. Even if Reefer threw out 75 more percent the last two shows than Ricky, right? You know, we're just going to throw some arbitrary numbers out there. 75 more percent of an impact than Ricky had. Ricky still has the four shows or whatever it is that Reefer had zero impact. Zero. 
Yes, but while Reefer had zero impact, his impact at the end of the year was huge. Was huge. Nobody's disputing that. But we're saying this is a yearly, this award is based on a year's worth of work, not three months' worth of work. Well, if Reefer tops Ricky's you can, impact you can, all the way, then yeah. You can say it that way, or you can say that throughout the year, at any one given moment, who made the biggest impact? But does and if you base it on that argument, I'm sorry, it goes to Reefer. All right, well, it's a yearly award. Then they should have phrased it differently. They should have, but you could take it either way. Uh, okay, okay, I'll concede. I want to move along, though. Uh, crowd favorite, number five, fifth award. Crowd favorite uh, nominees are Necro Butcher, uh, Beard Life, Chris Caden, CJ Antonino. If CJ does not win this, this is bullshit. <coughs> Again, I'm torn. On. <coughs> CJ Antonino, mm-hmm. great champion, mm-hmm. great run. Mm-hmm. My champion, your mm-hmm. champion, your champion. Not my champion, but okay. Okay. All year long. Not mine. All year long. Caden. No. Boom. Yeah, no, no, already, already. If that's your argument already, because Caden was getting booed a good portion of the year before his suspension. And then when he came back from but, his suspension. But. But it's again, a yearly award. It's one of those things in the wording. Do you take the best? Or do you take one moment all year? It's the end of the year awards for crowd favorite. <laughs> then CJ gets it. Then CJ has to get it. But if, but if you're looking if you're looking for that one specific moment, once again we won't know because it's rigged. <laughs> yep. Uh, so you say. <laughs> well, come on now. Come on. Uh, really? Listen, I gotta play I, devil's I can't, advocate. I can't, I can't flat out say it's rigged, right? But why not show? What's the logic between not showing the results? We showed the results, and we had three awards. Three awards that were down to the wire. So you can't even use that argument. Like, oh, well, then it'll just you know, make people. No, it's like that might actually push people to go vote because their guy's not winning. So suck it. And they have a bigger market on Facebook, at least, because they have 900-and-something followers. We got 300-and-something followers. Yet ours spread out. We cast over 2,100 votes, over 21 awards, almost 100 votes per award. You know? Now, how do you like it? I just, you know, you, you what's know, the logic? We're not showing the votes. I don't know what the logic is because That's, we, I would when like we plan this year's awards, we always said straightforward. People are going to see what the vote was. And I want to also know if it's IP address trapped. Those were the two things. We I would actually like proof. Onset. I would actually like proof that it was. It probably isn't. Are you kidding? Because oh, I can. Well, I mean, I found a, a website that's free and does the IP, you know, tracking. You know what I'm saying? I can prove it because I can show you the IP addresses that were tracked. And the little location that shows up the grid and everything like that. Yeah. I'm surprised that nobody wanted to see that. Well, I can well it's available. It. Move on. What's the next award? Uh, Actually, let me do it. We're on number six. I, I knew that. Number six. Story of the Year Award. Huh. Okay. Story of the Year Award. Story. Story. Is that like the confusing. Brady Bunch? A little confusing. Yes. Is it, it going to be circle time? All right. I, I, <laughs> I can't. All right. Story of the Year Award. I, I can't knock SWA. I can't. Uh, the nominees are The Downfall of Tommy C. Uh, Chris Caden's Suspension. Beard Life Split Up. Malloy wins the Pride Championship. Uh huh. Or Jack Gallo can't win and he snaps. I think it's got to be Caden's suspension. I'm actually, this list is tough, but I'm actually going to agree with you. Yeah, I mean, that no was the man, most talked about thing. And no man in, in the year got such a big pop when he walked out of that curtain at Mugs and Coco. Yeah, it's got to be, it's got to be Caden. <laughs> it has to be Caden, because, I mean, we talked about that extensively, you know. Uh, you, Tommy's got the next one. Yeah, let you me see. You want to do the next one? I think I want to do that. <coughs> all right, then do you it. Do all right, let's see. Let's see. We'll have some fun We're here. One seven, by the way. Oh, all right. Wrestler of the Year Award. The Great Bambino, C.J. Antonino, Ricky Richards, Chris Caden, Justin Toxic. Good list. Very good list. Excellent list. Let me see that list again. I just want to. Sometimes I'm better off with. Just... Antonino, Richards, Caden, okay. Toxic. 
Uh, I'm going to have it. There's a glaring emission on there. The only thing I have a problem with, and Sith is probably going to agree with me, Chris Caden. Chris Caden was on a five-month suspension. How do you judge a body of work? It's a good list. I would say he shouldn't be, you know, nominated at all either. You know, honestly, I would put... Uh, he was good when he was wrestling, but he missed... That's like saying you might missed, as well put Reefer in there. He missed most of the year due to a suspension. Sith, where are you going? Wrestle of the Year is always hard because it's, it's, it's not defined enough. I think it's left open for interpretation. You know, what defines the word wrestler? You know, are we talking about pure wrestling? Because then none of these guys. <laughs> uh, you can make an argument for Toxic. He's on there, right? <laughs> not when Jack L is in the company. Toxic, no. That's my glaring omission. But that's because I look at the word wrestler differently. And when you look at the word wrestler, you look at the whole package. I look at the whole package. And I don't care about wins and losses. Wins and losses should play out of it. Because, it doesn't matter on that point. Because on the ninth award, we're at number seven right now, but on the ninth award, you're going to see why I think Jack Gallus should be wrestler of the year. Which is probably the same reason why he's our wrestler of the year. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, uh, Tommy, why don't you take the eighth award? No, he did that. He did no, number did seven. You oh, stink. I'm sorry. I'll take it. Oh, you do the eighth award. Who's going to do All right. I'll hey, do I'll the I'll tenth one. You do the eighth. I know you like that. <laughs> okay. Oh, you know what? Yay. Yeah. Tag team of the year. Beard Life. Okay. The Graveyard Disciples. Okay. The New Yorkans. They had one match, no. And Damage Inc., Jay Lover, and Frankie Stars. No. No. Um, only because they couldn't even get along. GYD, I would say out of that list, is the only one that's really... I'm going to say either GYD or Beard Life. My issue is none of those teams stand out in the sense of none of them made such a huge impact as a team uh, this year. It was, it's close, you know. It's, yeah, GYD, they, they kind of exchanged wins and losses. Beard Life kind of exchanged wins and losses. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. Damaging couldn't even get along. Uh, uh, New York Ricans had one match. Whoopi, why isn't Los Sucios there, if anybody? Uh, yeah, they did it, three. It's it's tricky, you know, like I don't know, maybe that's just the state of tag team wrestling right now. At least in SWA. I don't know. That's tough. I'm gonna say the graveyard disciples are beard life though. Anybody care to uh, argue with me on that one? Yeah. Nope, I'm already in the same boat. I said yeah. that G Y D. Sean. There's those are the two. Beard life and graveyard. I think it comes down to them, but once again, we won't know. No, I can't see. No, straight, nine. This is okay. This is where my argument for Jack Gallo as wrestler of the year comes in. Um, Jack nine. Gallo is going to win match of the year this year. Oh, he's gonna, really? It's guaranteed. Really? Because he's in every, because he's in nomination. every nomination. In SWA. In SWA. Uh-oh. They had Ricky Richards versus Jack Gallo, which won match of the year on the Smark Awards for 2013. So you know that's not going to win SWAs. Um, you have Jack Gallo versus Britton Knight, the cage match at War Games, which was second in match of the year on the Sparks. And then you had Jack Gallo versus Britton Knight versus Grim Reefer, which didn't make the cut because of the that was already out there. <clears throat> yeah. um, so that could wind up being match of the year for next year because that was an excellent match. So Jack Gallo, congratulations. You're another match of the year already. Guaranteed it's just a matter of against who. Um, <laughs> and this man is not on Wrestler of the Year. The guy is in all three of your top matches of the year. The only constant. That makes he's sense. Not up for wrestler of the year. That makes sense. Oh, don't he didn't it? win any of them. It doesn't matter. What is the definition of wrestler? Someone in SWA, please describe for me the, you know, the definition that you're using to have your candidacy. He didn't win any matches. He's got to do this. That's what they're looking at. Like you said before, well, it's the whole picture, not just the, the outline of well, it. Well, then, then Ragdoll shouldn't be up there for uh, Breakout Wrestler because who the hell did he beat? Oh, he's 3-0. and One of them is Cadence. He, he's but still, who the hell did he beat? 
You gotta be kidding me. He's still laying next to Jimmy Hoffa somewhere. Yeah. He beat Hatch Stevens. Give me a break. <laughs> beat Hatch Stevens, and he won in a uh, six man tag match. When he's not wrestling, he's sleeping next to Jimmy Hoffa and Amelia Earhart. Yeah. And, that's the argument. Yeah. and then Come finally, on. they have Rivalry of the Year, which is basically their version of Feud of the Year. Um, Damage Inc. versus Beard Life. CJ Anthony versus Chris Caden, which got no votes for Feud of the Year on the Smark Awards. Uh, and then Junior Reyes versus Necro Butcher, which probably should win. And that's it. Those are the candidates. They got three. That's ridiculous. That's t- oh, no man. Tommy C versus anti propagandist. I know why. No Braden Knight versus Jack Gallo. Which why? actually won Feud of the Year on the Smart World. Like not there. This is in your company. That other people have said this is the best Feud of the Year from <coughs> independent wrestling. Period from the tri-state area, and there's not a single. Show of support for that in your own company? Like, this one outside of your own company. Yes, it did. Just pointing out the flaws, gentlemen. Just pointing out the flaws. I'm sure somebody's going to call me tomorrow or text me tomorrow or start some shit with me tomorrow. And it's like, well, you're an idiot. And uh, you can't. If you can't. Here's my argument. If you cannot take criticism, you are in the wrong business. Just like they say, if you, it's too hot in there, in the kitchen kind of thing. I out. wore the most yeah. Ridiculous, yeah. Al- ridiculous outfit you've break. ever seen in professional wrestling. And I took a lot of criticism at first for it. And I stuck it out. Can't take the heat. Get out the kitchen, bitches. You know, I could take criticism. but uh, If you can't take the heat, get the hell out of the ring. All right, you could do that. That doesn't work as well because there's not. Yes, a- it does. Right. I guess if you're talking about like heat, heat. <laughs> no. I see what you did there. Maybe you're smarter than I give you credit for. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so. <coughs> and those are your SWA. Yes. What are they called again? End of the Year End Awards. End of the Year yeah. Awards. Yeah, woo. You know what? We wasted, what, 20 minutes? Are you telling us minutes? to wrap it up, Hall Monitor? Oh. Like well, she... That's also a wrap it up signal, too. <laughs> just so you know. Yeah, she's saying wrap up SWAs. All right, well, so Tommy's got a jaded opinion because he just recently got fired. So no, uh, I don't. No, I I'm straight and from the hip on it. I and really speak, don't care about and SWA. Of fired, but I have a burning question that Ryan brought up earlier and oh. he failed to ask it. Why? So now I will. Why? Johnny Malloy, new Pride champion. Yes. Former member of Beard Life. Yes. Explain to me how he's got the power to fire you. Because he's Jerry Warner. Because he's really Jerry Warner. Don't be so naive. Same way I Tommy, wasn't going to break the Same way that Tommy C is the promoter of Stronghold Pro, you know, which is yeah. why it's getting so many plugs on the Facebook. Let's just yeah. throw it out there. <laughs> Our entire timeline photos is literally the same flyer over and over, and over again. Uh, God, I can't wait for January 19th, so I don't got to worry about like, how many times did he post it today. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, just so you know. <laughs> I hope the next one's not until April. No, it's going to be uh, in, and I'm not saying, because somebody might Some, try to book on me. Yeah. But you know what? I posted the I flyer heard. on probably about over 8,000 people. So good morning to all of you. Yeah. yeah Boston. <laughs> yeah, Boston. Uh, yeah, so I can't wait. I can't wait to... Uh, we get some reaction tomorrow. I'm sure somebody is going to have a fucking opinion about what I said. It's like, hey, if you want to have a host shooting, the host is going to start shooting. Oh, well. Yeah. <coughs> My biggest argument with that whole situation was you could have just said nothing or you could have just took the high road and said congratulations on your victory. I'll get them next year. And honestly, uh, I don't know how they're going to hand out the – what are they going to do? Nothing. Then hand them out. Yeah. Yeah. They're just, not. There you go. Here's your winner. Yeah, they're just unless they're saying, it. unless they have something planned. I don't know. I'm yeah. not in the best of anymore. I, I, I'm not. I couldn't tell you. I really don't. I'm just a fan at this point. A ticket purchasing fan. That's not Good true. Good for you. Yeah. What with SWA? Oh, with SWA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't have to purchase the ticket because I, you know, it's NYWC and I got my boys are there, so I just walk in. Yeah. I hear you. So <laughs> ain't nobody gonna question that. You know, the but, the, but old, okay, the, the for what? <laughs> I don't got to buy a ticket for Strong. I'll be there. You know? We're doing a pre-show. <laughs> yeah, SWA, you know, I just walk in. 
when the when the owners of the building are like, nah, that's cool, come in, top that one. True indeed, man. True indeed, it is. Uh, but you out of a ring, that's not necessarily true. Uh, well, it could be. You don't know. All I'm saying, all I'm saying is. All I'm saying Whoa. is I even caught heat on something I posted on my Facebook that had nothing to do with SWA, and I caught heat. <laughs> really? Person. Yeah. <laughs> Tommy's farting. This is the, this, this is the, the, uh, the time where we say we're going to wrap up the show now. Uh, we're going to have complete <laughs> results for you on Stronghold next Wednesday on the show. Yes, and if you don't have your tickets, come down and get them and at the door. Jump into NYWC Aftermath. Yes, yes, yes I are. guess. Uh, Which takes place that Saturday. I guess January we're going. 25th. Mm-hmm. Strongholds January 18th. You got yeah. back-to-back Saturdays with, with excellent wrestling. Yep. So get your tickets. Stronghold this Saturday. Next Saturday, NYWC. Get your tickets for both shows. It's going to be a hell of a show, both of them. We're going to be there, I guess, right? Yeah, we're going to be so there. We're going to be there. I, I guess I'm on we're my way. Branching out. All right. We're we'll talk out. to you. Branching out, even though my, my whole Facebook status was about Ace and I got heat because, oh, it's about SWA. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> Branching out, bro. Branching out. Uh, all right, so. Don't forget about the shooting gallery. January 29th. Shooting gallery. Oh, Stand yeah. Of independent wrestling. Yep. And don't forget to tune into the WWE Hall of Fame where the Ultimate Warrior is going to be inducted. No! So. Yeah. Should I lay down on the lawn and get run over by lawnmowers? Should I go to the Africa and get stampeded on by raging elephants? Or uh, anyway. Uh, so, yeah. So, for the heel, Tommy C., the host of the year for 2013. The Sean real Walsh. heel. Yeah. I call Tommy a heel because he is a heel. <laughs> uh, there's no face on this program anymore. Uh, so, okay. Let's do the, the traditionally. For the face, Tommy C., for the oh. heel and host of the year of 2013, Sean Walsh. This is the smooth voice Sith signing off. Take us out, whole monitor. We'll with your sweet cheeks. <laughs> <laughs>